It gives people an option that they wouldn't normally have. I am Jen Owen, and I run the enablingthefuture.org website, which I founded in 2014. It documents and keeps track of the Global Enable community, um, which is a group of uh, volunteers from all over the world who are using 3D printing to make a difference. Traditional prosthetics run between 3,000 to 10,000 for the non-biominic arms, and these can be made for about $50. So this is one of the Enable designs. Um, you can hold a water bottle, you can, um, you know, grab onto your bike handle, so you have two full hands. This is my cyborg hand. The first design was created for a little boy in South Africa um, who was born with no fingers. I cry every time. <laughs> it's just like this joy that it's not just the child that's feeling it, but the look on their parents' faces. We are going to print a finger. <laughs> At first, it was about getting devices onto people who needed them. And now there's over 2,000 schools all over the world who are using Enable in their classroom. There's people everywhere, all over the world, in over 100 countries who are making these. So it's a group effort. <laughs> giving somebody a hand is amazing, but um, giving somebody a hand and then watching them turn around and become designers and think of other ways that they can help design for other people in need is even more amazing. It's a finger.